Well, 12 News is learning more about the Afghanistan refugees headed to the ocean state. These refugees will only have a temporary immigration status, meaning they won't be eligible for federal assistance programs. Now, this is just one of the many obstacles this group will face. 12 News reporter Chelsea Jones joins us now with a look at the challenges that presents. Chelsea? Kim and Shannon, we're getting our first look at this U.S. military base in El Paso, Texas, where refugees that were airlifted outside of Afghanistan are being screened. Now, nearly 10,000 refugees are staying at the base while they undergo medical and security checks before being resettled in the U.S. in places like Rhode Island. And as we first told you yesterday, the Ocean State will get 150 refugees. Each of them will only get a lump sum of $1,200 that will have to last until they can fully resettle. And without the federal funding that refugees normally get through programs like food stamps and Medicaid, Dorcas International says they're out roughly 1.5 $5 million dollars in federal assistance. Looking for an escape to the turmoil happening in Kabul, 65,000 Afghan refugees are slated to come to the United States. 150 are headed to Rhode Island. And Kathleen Cloutier with Dorcas International says language barriers and the American way of life will present challenges. Often they come into an entry level position service industries, low-wage jobs generally, sometimes not even full-time. Dorcas International has been aiding refugees since the 1980s, helping with resettlement, legal assistance, education, and more. Normally, refugees are given access to federal help. These Afghans will not. And those are, you know, filled with food stamps and other support services. This group won't have any safety net to meet that gap. When refugees arrive, Dorcas usually helps to relocate them to South Providence with $1,200 per month as a maximum rent. We may have to move folks to other cities and towns um, where the, the rental market may be more open, but not necessarily as affordable. So, you know, $1,800, $2,000 a month. And this program for temporary immigration status for Afghans ends in six months. Cloutier says they usually get 12. What happens in March? My understanding is that by March, these Afghans who have been evacuated will have been resettled in local communities. Now they're calling on the state for help as Rhode Island expects to see our first refugees late October, early November. The state's refugee support network met this morning. It's made up of several community organizations that are coordinating relief efforts for the state. The governor has said he is ready and willing to accept these refugees. I'm Chelsea Jones, 12 News.